Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the void. I'm player one, by myself. And welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles. Last time we had a little tiny story episode just working up Makana's field more. Because I wanted to get access to the last named NPC that, uh, that goes in the chart. Now, we didn't do it last episode because I didn't know where they were. But luckily, we, uh, we do in fact have access to them. They're right over here. I can just... This is where we ended. We just had to walk over here. So you go over this way, and you come up on the... Hmm? Wait. Where? Where is this? How? How do I? Do I have to? Oh, I guess. Huh. This is weird. But okay. Oh no, Shulk! You fucking ah! Well, let me try that again. All right. I didn't know there would be like some tricky platforming in Xenoblade. I guess you would call this platforming. Oh my god. Is this where it is? This little, this little Heidi? Oh, yes. How the hell? Man, Machina Refuge, secret area. You're damn right, secret area. This was very, very well hidden. Okay. You got a skill? Nice. Increases tension gain from battle start. Nice. Done, man. Increases physical and ether defense of light equipment. Yeah. But here we are. Hidden Machina Refuge. It's got a nice little shop. What we got here? Machina stuff too. Ooh, we actually have some armor for Fior. That's just better. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. Mm-hmm. And yes. And also some new drones. May as well get both of them. Okay. Do I get any of these? I guess I get that. Never mind, I am broke. Damn, how did we get broke? I really, I really don't know what to sell at this point. Hmm. Well, I'll, f I'll figure it out. Let me put that armor on before I forget, because I will forget. Ooh, what the hell? Bird feet? Bird feet? Fiora? Hmm. Hmm. This is just a lot of resistance stuff. I don't know what specifically to give her. I'll, I'll just give her the muscle ups. Why not? Now, thankfully that we're here, we can put the last person on the chart. Right here, 
Baza trucks. Me. You. My boyfriend. Whoa. Cool. And there she is. That should be every person on the chart. If I if I read it correctly, that should be everyone. And also we did need to go here because I think if I do a over trade Something wrong? No. Then where the hell am I getting? Oh. You know, who's this? Regular man? What do you need? What do you have? We have to observe the mechon and keep the village safe. It's a worthwhile job. I can spot even their slightest movements. It's just a generic Yeah, monster quest. Three tricks. And he's got more. Challenge one. Revolutionary Bifrons. Bifrons? Bifrons. What do you need? Infernal Croquel. Huh. Okay. Bazatrox also has a quest, but I guess we have to do stuff at Fallen Arm first. Okay, there we go. That's all I wanted here. What we're actually doing today is Colony 6. Man, it's been forever since we've been here. But yes, thanks to the access now of Fallen Arm and Makanas Field, we can get level 4. Oh right, I'm broke. I am not broke no more. I sold a lot of equipment. Now then, housing level four. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very cool. No, now it extends all the way to the entrance. And we've even got some knob on houses. Oh. The music just changed. Whoa. I think that was a big step. All right. Very cool. Very cool. All right. And uh, commerce to level four. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like the new music. Shop. All right. Now, how broke are we again? Pretty broke. Now, you may be wondering, oh, why can't you get the other two to, to level four? Well, um, the Saluas? Yeah, we can't, we can't get those yet. But nature, I do have a solution to that. So, now that we have housing... Yeah, now that we have housing to level 4, we can uh, go ahead and go to Alchemoth. And uh, find someone. It says main entrance. Where is, where is him? I'm sorry, her. We're looking for Jarell. Hello. You know what makes me different from other scientists? I have short wings. That shows I'm half. No, I won't say. We, we know, we know. Would you please invite me to call me six? Yes. And there we go. Oh, enemies attacking one of the colonies, either planters. Oh shit, defend colony six elite. And now Jarell is in that section. So yeah, we have all the people on the chart, but we don't have all the people in the proper places on the chart. So there we go. And now that we have Jarell, we can go back to the colony and then uh, do a little something, do, do, a, little, do a little something. 
where is she? I can just I can just do this. Let's see, Jarrell. That's not you. That's you. Where are you? Nighttime. All the way over here. Okay. So we go to Jarell. Who's right over here? Hello. And then we just do a a, a cheeky a cheeky little um over trade. How's that not an over trade? Well, you want a water boatman? There we go. And we get a Hawk's Daylight Spur. Which we need three of to get nature to level four. Now, these are in an enemy drop, but do you want to know what they're from? They're from Bionis Leg, right under Ragwell Bridge, there are some hawkses, the little bunny-looking ones. They're level 70. Yeah, I'm not doing that yet, if, when I can just do that. The question is, will I have the money needed? All right. Shit. Okay, so, um, don't... Don't just sell, like, equipment. Sell the monster parts. The monster parts, good lord. We will not be broke anymore. Nature level four. We can't, we cannot get special to level four yet. The Saluas, we, we can't fight them yet, and no one trades for them. So yeah, we, we just cannot get special to level four yet. All right, now that that's done, let me just quickly take out whatever these are. Where are they? Down there? Okay. Of course, you, if you don't remember, you get these, like, defend quests once you reach a certain, like, reconstruction level. And this one is Elite. What is an M71 fire support? Level 50. And I'm going to demolish him. A new buff? What? And there we go. Then colony six. Fleet. Easy. Ah, there's the classic. Let's press on and on and on. All right. So now that that's dealt with, and we have most things to level four, let's go recruit a whole bunch of people. A whole bunch of people. So first up, we get a good old triple dipple in Colony 9. So let's go there. So I lied. It's not a triple. It's a double. Uh, first off, Rosemary. I've had it. Makes me tack along when he hangs out with his friends. Then when I want to do something with him, he says he's busy. What I put up with him in this love-forsaken hole of a place. I wish a nice man would sweep me off my feet and take me far away. Uh, colony six? Uh, Shulk, are you sweeping me off my feet? Finally, someone responded to this girl's heartfelt pleas. I'll go and dump my current boyfriend right this second. Everyone knows you're already taken. Damn. 
So yeah, there's Rosemary. You have to be Shulk, by the way, but that's not a problem. So yeah, then, uh, then Rosemary is there. And then her boyfriend starts yes. singing. Weirdo. Okay. So there's her. Now, I was looking at another one, but that one... That one requires special to level 4. I didn't notice that. But we can do another. Go to the residential district. Still nighttime. And we have to go over here. We go to little alcove over here. I don't know what I'm talking about, Papino Spaghetti. And we can invite him. There you are. Okay. There is him. So yeah, I thought there was one more, but you need you need special four for him. So not not yet. All right, that's colony nine. Now, we can go to Alchemoth. So in Alchemoth, if you have housing four and nature four, you can come here and get Dawn Argentis. It's splendid. I was thinking about moving there too. Ah, uh, yeah. Come on over. And there we go. And, sadly, that seems to be it for right now. We still need to get special to four, and then a bunch of stuff to five. Yeah. We just need the one guy in Calling Nine with special to four, but then everybody else needs stuff to be five. So... Nice little three pick. Uh, pretty good. So now let's go back to Colony 6 and actually start doing some quests, shall we? So our first one is actually from Ardo, one of the OGs. Uh, you want Melia in the party for this one. Oh, hello. Do you know anything about what's been going on over there? Eh? I saw smoke billowing out of a house on the main street. I don't think the house is on fire, but the smoke is a strange color. Can you take a look for me? I'm worried something strange is going on. Smoke is never a good thing. I would not be able to sleep at night with a nearby house alight. Oh, don't be silly. It's been three days already. I'm used to it now. What about my frail old body? It can't be good for others, either. Will you help an old lady out? So, bro is just smoking a doinky, and you're like, oh my goodness. Fine. And so, this is actually because of uh, Jarrell. So we go talk to Jarrell. Hello. What's with the faces? Something whiffy in the air? Of course, you're here because of the smoke. Everything's fine, nothing to worry about, you can move on. I can see you're just worried about my safety in the house. I can assure you the smoke itself is nothing to worry about. Everything is under control. Like I said, you're smoking a doinky. Arda. What's with you? Also, where are you? So the smoke is safe? That's fantastic. Easiest quest of my life. So I guess my bones ache for some other reason. Oh well. At least I can rest easy at night surrounded by these kind people. Seriously, easiest easiest quest. All that you need for that is to just have drill. Okay. Next. Next, we actually need to talk to Jarrell.
because that opens up another quest. And you want Ryan in the party for this one. He comments. Hello. Excuse me, can you help me? The smoke billowing from my home is indeed because of that thing. You must understand the position we high NT are in. We can't have everyone thinking we're incompetent now, can we? Hmm? I see. You wish to humiliate me before giving an answer. Yes, fine. I do realize the smoke is a disturbance to the others. So, shall I get down on my knees or will you accept? Please, I can't say any more about that that I've already said. Hey, what's with the attitude? You shouldn't have lied. No, I simply made the wrong decision by not saying the truth. That is why I desperately need your kind assistance this once. Fine, I'm sorry, okay? Please. Hmm. We need three dated plugs and three dated cranks. The equipment she's using is broken, and that's what's producing the smoke. So she was, in fact, not just smoking a doinky. Okay. So that's a collecting quest. I have done it. Hello? At last, now I can fix my device. I believe some thanks are in order. With the smoke gone, everyone can stop worrying. I'm very pleased. Let me see. Maybe I could start my love potion research again. You're hot! Um, okay. Ooh, some new drones. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Are they better? No. Good. So now that that's done, that unlocks a third quest in the quest line, right? Actually, hang on, wait a minute. No, that's a different quest now that we have four star affinity. But let me let me go ahead and, and finish this little quest line first. So you want Hang on a moment. This next one is apparently mutually exclusive with one. So the quest is called Knop on Determination, and it's mutually exclusive with Hom's Determination? Oh, okay, no. I see, I see. So this quest for After the Smoke, it deals with the scientist you invited from Colony 9. So either Mephi Mephi or Perrine. So if you brought Mephi Mephi, this would be Knop on Determination. If you brought Perrine, it would be Hom's Determination. Okay. All right. Also, for for this one, you want Ricky, and I believe she's at daytime. Maybe. My stupid. I'm stupid. Okay, he's over here. All the way over. Mm? Oh wait. Rosemary. That's also a completely separate quest. Where is Mephi Mephi? Y'all, you know the series has been going on for too damn long when I'm just really stupid. We didn't invite Mephi Mephi. We invited Perrine. I'm I'm very dumb. And also the Purine one, Hom's determination, is not until way later. It's part of the end game quest section. So there's there's that. We we don't actually do that one yet. So I guess we're doing whatever this one is, Rosemary. Um. Need. Rhyme in the party. Hi there. So you finally remembered me. When you told me about all the men, I rushed straight here. 
You know, I haven't had much luck in my love life recently. Alright. Now, where are all these fit men you said you introduced me to? Maybe you're not the best people to be asking. I don't want any bad breath old farts, you hear me? Bring me four potential boyfriends and quickly. Well, I'm single, so that's one. Shulk single, that's two. And Dunman, there's three already. Fine, everyone line up. Which one of you lucky boys gets to date gorgeous Rosemary here? Whoa there, back up a second. On second thoughts, I couldn't do that to my best mate Shulk. But you can have Dunman. All right, all right, we'll go find you some boyfriends. We need a timid Harms man, a rough and ready Harms man, a composed Hyentia, and a knock-on food connoisseur. So you need four people, four boys, four men. And I'll tell you right now, you don't have all of them. You can accept this quest right now, but you cannot finish it yet. Uh, so I'm just gonna nod. I'm just gonna nod. That's gonna be there until, um, a, a good bit. Until a good bit. So, the next quest we can actually do, now that we have four-star affinity, we can talk to whoever uh, Miss Sweetness is, be that Barry Jammy or McCrish. For me, it is Barry Jammy. And Barry Jammy wants to talk to Melia. But have Melia in the party. Hello. Barry Jammy just love living in Colony 6. And I want to thank friends for making Colony best place to live. Alright. Barry Jammy must thank all residents for making this my home. Barry Jammy must do something nice for everyone. Quite right, young lady. You have turned a corner, I see. They're no expert on sweetness, I can tell you have a sweet spirit. See, see? Barry Jammy told you so. Always knew friends would see potential in Barry Jammy. Me not able to tell friends right now, but can friends help? Listen to her demands. Of course friends help, because it is Barry Jammy asking. Barry Jammy already contact Lalapa in Frontier Village. Talk to Lalapa to find out more. So that actually counts as two, and that activates a final sweet favor. So... Yeah, that's actually the last one now. So I guess we'll, uh, I guess we'll go do it. Go to Frontier Village, and talk to Lalapa. Here he is. Miss Sweetness to Lalapa everything. What a mess to be in. First friends go to Sap Cave here in Magna Forest. For then, at break of dawn, friends grab fresh Algora Sap. Then Lalapa mix it with... Lalapa trying to remember what to mix it with. Nope, Lalapa forget what else we need. Anyway, friends go get fresh Algora Sap and bring. Maybe Lalapa remember our friends gone. Okay. Okay. So we gotta go to Magna Sap Cave, which is apparently just right there. So let's quickly go and get some nice, delicious sap. Makes your mouth go all sticky. Alright, it needs to be break of dawn, but I'll, I'll walk there first. Man, this game, this game is just very, very long, huh? Like, so stupidly long. But it's fine. It's fine. <sighs> Why is this big boy in my way? I'm going to kill you. You understand this? You're level 31. You're not blocking nothing. Yeah, big bastard. Alright, so Shap Cave. So now let me change it to the Break of Dawn. Should be like that. That's not the Break of Dawn? 
five then? There we go. Yoink. Uh, yoink. And then we go back to him. Lalapa. Ooh. Good timing, friends. Lalapa, remember what we need. Friends need to go to Sator Marsh and get a mysterious droplet. Mysterious droplet only found by tiny waterfall. It's very rare and valuable. East part of Lackis Swamp where friends need to go. Then we all finished. Okay. So, another just random item. Lackis Swamp. So I'm gonna guess Zaldania Waterfall? Let's see. Yes! Very nice. And now we deliver the stuff to Miss Sweetness. What the shit? Why? 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 Why have you done this? Why are they my level? You better... Get the hell out of there! What the shit? Type of scary ass... Run! Oh, Melia. Melia, why are you so slow? Oh, I'm getting the hell out of here. I'm not fighting those things. They're, s they're still on my ass. Okay. Oh, damn. Okay, let's let's go back to Colony Six and then talk to her. What the hell? Hello, Barry Jemmy. Friends, bring Barry Jemmy what I wanted. Go, oh, Barry Jemmy's friends! Yay! Barry Jemmy and everyone happy now. Friends want to know what happened next. Lakeside going to light up. Oh, oh yes. Oh, Shulk and Melia are at blue. It's going to be beautiful. Friends will see. Colony 6 residents will be so happy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was a big star. Use my power to protect my friends. Hmm? Best friends. Friends for life, I'm gonna guess. I think that's the new one. Light up the lakeside. I'm pretty sure that's over... Wait. I think that's over here? I, I have not gotten used to the new stuff yet. No, that's not the lake. That's barren, barren wasteland. The lake's over here. But what do you mean it will light up? Um, nothing, nothing's happening. Eh? Did I just get scammed? Did I, did I just get scammed? Hang on, hang on. I'm pushing all the wrong buttons. Colony 6. Let's see here. The sweetness is gratitude. The lakeside area will be populated with relaxing and tranquil lights. Those? The fireflies? Is that what you mean? Huh. I, I... I guess that's what she means. Now, Shulk and Melia have a new level. And we have no coins for him. Increases tension gained from... Yeah, why not? Dang, we need a lot of affinity coins. We need a lot. But we we have not fought that many unique monsters, so I guess it makes sense. Also, with that quest done, we are now caught up on Colony 6 because uh, we can't do the Rosemary quest yet. And then the next group of quests is uh, unlocked later. So yeah, very cool. Now, let me just check everything to see what is next. 
I believe next week we go back to Frontier Village. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to take a little break and uh, finish the Colony 6 stuff, but we do... We do need to go back to Frontier Village. There is still stuff here. So, the first thing... Uh, since we did the medical advancements thing from, uh, Medi... Medi... It unlocks, uh, quite a few quests. Like, that's a basis for a whole lot. Um, this beginning one with Kofuko. Uh, you want Rhine. If you did medical advancements. If you did the other one, it's a different quest. So, yeah. Hello, Kofuko. Hello. Jump, 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 jump. Kofuko got his teeth fixed. Now Kofuko can chomp anything. But Kofuko still has one problem. The friends know what it is. Tell me. Everything Kofuko eat tastes mild. Kofuko likes strong flavors. Even the strongest tasting food in the village too mild for Kofuko. What's the strongest taste in food here then? Bitter, bitter, bitter red citrus. Kofuko eats tons of them. Yuck! Ugh. That much red citrus? I can't stand the things. So Kofuko wants to eat dish that uses strongest ever flavors. Damn. Damn. We were so close. We need one more bloody brog sweat. Ugh. And one more frozen Aries meat. I've got everything else. Sour stew. Alright. So, there's that. But that's not part of the quest line. That's just a separate thing. There is, in fact, a quest line. And to start it, we need to go to the underground store. And, uh... Yeah, we need to go to the underground store and talk to bro there. For this one, you want Fiora. Also should be daytime. And there he is right there. Unpa. Who are you? There are two doctors in village, Dr. Medi and Dr. Yusa. We have slight problem though. Oh no. They are both good doctors, but they are at war with each other. If they are both good doctors, then they should be able to cooperate. Dr. Medi and Dr. Yusa are both as inflexible as ether crystals. Chief Danga told them to work together, but they do not listen. Dr. Yusa's legs have hurt him for many years, though he hides it. I think he finds it more and more difficult to walk these days. I want to get Dr. Medi to do something for Dr. Yusa. Okay. Talk to Medi. Alright. Anything else before that? Ooh, do, 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 do. I actually believe so. I believe so. So let's go to the chief's residence. I forgot the lollipop was still registered. I think we can do this one. I think. Also, where's lollipop? There he is. We need, um, I believe Dobby Dobby or Doby Doby. I can never remember not on names. No? It's Dobby Dobby. Okay, no, this is, this is further on in the quest line. I'm looking ahead. Let's go ahead and talk to Medi wherever he is. I tell you, I can remember a whole lot of stuff. I will never remember where all these NPCs are. It is impossible. Let's go talk to him, see if he can't do something nice. You all look pretty beaten up. Would you like me to give any of you a checkup? 
What? You want me to care Yusa's leg? So he's in agony with his leg, mm hmm? No wonder he hasn't been up annoying me late recently. Okay then, there's no point in me hitting a man while he's down. However, it would hurt his pride to know that I cured him. So let's try one of those old Nopon charms first. There's an ancient Nopon legend which I think you need to know. We offer flowers to the Bionis at the same area of Bionis that hurts. The location on the Bionis must match the location of the injury. Yusa has pain on his knee, which in turn is on his leg, right? So the offering must be made on Bionis' leg. Now go ask Yusa about his knees. That should give you a chance to mention the flowers to him. Okay. So, so now we go talk to another man. Where is, where is he? Where is, where is bro? Probably daytime, huh? This is the most annoying part. When you have to keep switching the times of day. Okay, he's in, he's in the store. Let us go. I don't know why we need to talk to him about his knees. We know his, his, his knees hurt. I guess we have to talk to him about the flowers. Hello? What's that? What do healthy people want to talk to me for? Oh, my legs are so sore. My thighs and knees are in terrible pain. How about using flowers? What? Flowers. Oh, an offering of flowers at the altars on the Bionis leg. You have good knowledge about Nopon traditions. I will prepare the flower offering. Making the offering is impossible for me though. Can I ask friends to do it? So we gotta put a flower on a bunch of places. Okay. But I actually think with that, we'll end it there. Got quite a few done, and we've accepted the next ones. So I think next time on questing, we will finish the Frontier Village ones, and hopefully actually make it to Fallen Arm quests, you know, the, the area that's new and we should have stuff to do in. But yeah, I've been Player One, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.